So there's one more area I kind of just wanted to touch on mostly out of my own personal interest, and that is exercise timing and the circadian clock. There's been a bunch of studies that have come out over the past few years suggesting there are better times for humans to exercise. Yes. So there are a lot of studies that are coming out showing that that by, uh, so the late afternoon or evening may be the best time for exercise. And there are many physiological reasons for that. One is for exercise, we need much better uh, muscle tone, joint flexibility, and less risk for injury. And all of these tasks are lying in the late afternoon because that's when our heart rate is relatively high, our core body temperature is warm. Um, we don't need that warming up that we typically need early in the morning, that much warming up. And our muscle tone is better, joint flexibility is much better, so our risk for injury is less. So that's why uh, all of the studies are finding that late afternoon exercise is much better. Uh, then the second, so this is for healthy people who are trying to trying to get the gold medal instead of silver, <laughs> or reducing the risk for injury. Then if we think of people who are sick or who are trying to manage their glucose, say people with diabetes, is late afternoon exercise better than early morning? And in fact, there is at least one study that came out of um, Stockholm showing that people who, the same people, when they did exercise, high intensity interval training in the morning versus the same people doing the same high intensity interval training in late afternoon, they found that people who did the morning heat interval training, the blood glucose level actually went up. Whereas uh, doing the same exercise in the evening helped them to reduce their blood glucose level, 24 hours blood glucose, those who had diabetes. So that's a very strong result. And what we know is, as I said, our pancreas has a clock. That means the pancreas produces more insulin in the morning or the first half of the day. And the second half of the day, even in the absence of melatonin, it, it doesn't produce that much insulin as well as in the morning. So that means um, any help in managing glucose independent of insulin is much better in the evening. And when we exercise, our muscles actually take up a lot of glucose without the help of insulin. And this might be one reason why late afternoon, early evening exercise, or even brisk walking may be much more beneficial for people with diabetes in managing their blood glucose. So the bottom line is, whether you're healthy or less healthy, uh, it seems that late afternoon, early evening exercise is better. But at the same time, if you have time to exercise only in the morning, then you should not stop exercising go for that morning exercise. Completely agree. Uh, there was a very interesting, re very recent study showing that fat oxidation was about almost like 13% higher in the afternoon compared to the morning. But if you took in, if, if the participants took in, it was actually quite of a large amount of caffeine. 30 minutes before exercise in the morning, their fat oxidation was equivalent to if someone exercised in the afternoon without any caffeine. For me, I like to exercise like first thing in the morning. I'm sort of, you know, mostly fasted. I do have uh, a cup of coffee, but it's kind of nice to know that maybe that caffeine, and I don't, I don't exactly know the mechanism, but may actually boost the fat oxidation a little bit more than, you know, if, if it was just morning without the, the caffeine. Mm -hmm. And also just one more question about, there was another study showing that like performance, athletic performance actually varied depending on when a person wakes up. So like whether they're an early riser versus intermediate or late riser. And what was I thought was so interesting about that study is that their peak performance was very different. Um, so if it was like an early or intermediate riser, their peak athletic performance happened between five or six hours after they wake up. But if they were a late riser, their peak performance was almost 12 hours. That's 11 hours after they basically woke up. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was interesting. 